Hi, this is Joe Payone, Editor-in-Chief of Technology Tell Network. I'm here with Rob Gelfman, Vice President of Marketing and Member Relations with the Multimedia Over Coax Alliance, or MOCA. Uh, Rob, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, so, if we live in a Wi-Fi world, a wireless world. Um, tell us a little bit about MOCA and how that fits into this wireless trend. Why should you have a wired network? Right. Well, everything goes wireless. Wireless is a constant. Portable devices obviously rely on wireless technology. But as you add more wireless devices to a wireless network, you will see a performance degradation. So our suggestion is to add a wire. And the wire we recommend is coax. Coax is already in the house. It's built for video. It's shielded, it's immune from interference, it has unlimited bandwidth, and it's already in your wall. You don't have to install new wiring. Right? But you don't throw out the wireless, we just want you to add Mocha technology. So it's essentially, it's the network backbone, it's an infrastructure. Exactly, actually, yeah. Um, you mentioned some field trials uh, that you've been working on. Can you, right. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Right. We have spent a lot of time with pay TV operators and we want to communicate to the end users as well. But any technology standard should do real world field trials. They should follow a scientific method. It should be random as possible. It should be duplicatable, repetitive, and, and ultimately get the same results. So we, we just, uh, we're in the middle of, we haven't even finalized, but the results were great. So we wanted to disclose early results. And we've done about 108 homes and we'll do more, and we've got 400 megabits per second net throughput, actual rates, in more than 90% of all outlets. So 90% so of the time, at least, you will get 400 megabits per second. So this is a great boost for a wireless network. Now, if you're a consumer today, um, how can you get Mocha in your home, or can you yet? There's, there's multiple ways to get Mocha, actually. You can certainly go to your pay TV operator, your cable operator, your satellite operator, Verizon, for instance. You can also go, uh, there are products on retail, so you can go to uh, Amazon, type in Mocha adapter, for instance, or go to Best Buy, and you'll find it in the shelf. But if you look at uh, uh, Action Tech, uh, uh, or a TiVo, or Eris and Motorola, or Eris acquisition of Motorola, they all have Mocha products with Mocha technology embedded in it. Um, talking about legacy infrastructure, um, cable, obviously, coax, power line is another technology that people talk about. How does uh, Mocha compare to power line technology? Well, Mocha, the technology really is the leader in performance and reliability. And we're, we're proving that with our field trials. But you have a home plug or a power line, and you have ubiquity, which is also very important in a home network. You have outlets in every room, your closet, your patio, your garage, for instance. It's also very easy to use. The problem is it's a very, the power line itself is a very staticky medium. It'll pick up outside signals, it runs at a low frequency, so your vacuum cleaner and your microwave oven and your everyday appliances can interfere which is just horrible for video, for instance. Wi-Fi is great too, because it goes and it, it's portable. You walk around the house, what could be something more natural? But the more device you put on the network, or thick walls, building materials, um, you, know, you have a large house in the US, you may not get to every corner. So that's why we say, oh, keep the wireless, but add a wire. The wire we suggest is coax. Well, Rob, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it, and um, thanks for watching. Thank you very much.